Hey, Christine. Hi, Alicia. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Yeah, great. This That is is good. Oh, it's good. Um, I thought it would be really cool to jump on and just have a bit of a chat. I guess like if, as if we were having a coffee or a bubbles or something um, and just sort of had a bit of a chat about, uh, I guess, why people might be seeing our faces and voices a little bit more frequently together uh, as opposed to separately and, um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's awesome and a great idea, by the way. I think that that's uh, a really cool thing to do. Um, I don't know when when I think when I think about um you and your business and what you and James do at Massage Champions um I think a lot of good things um <laughs> and I'd like to share them with other people um yeah is is that what you want to kind of have a chat about would that be good yeah, yeah definitely yeah. Do that. Okay. Do that. oh yeah um I'm just trying to think like quit when we first started to work together, you working as my business coach, <laughs> I mean, working yes. as, as a really compliant um, client of yours. Yes. Yes. Mostly. I always did as I was told, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> In your own time and your own way. You would get it done. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think there was a bit of encouragement there. Um, <laughs> um, but you know that aside, even though I was possibly a little bit resistant to a little bit of a lot of things, um, <laughs> um, you guys really helped me when it came to um, starting in a new country and helping me get over some of my fears around technology and organizing me, trying, helping me extract the ideas out of my head and make them into reality. That's, that's actually what you guys did, which was amazing, really. Um, so I'd like to say thank you and um, very grateful for that and um, share that with other people, other therapists. Yeah. it's our absolute pleasure it's such an exciting even just looking back to when we first started to where you are now to see that transformation have occurred uh, with the action that you've taken it's just amazing like absolutely an amazing journey I think oh did you see that picture I posted on my uh, personal Facebook page it was six years ago <laughs> Or, or maybe a little bit more, it's like 2016. Wow. Yeah. And I was definitely working with you guys then. Yeah. Uh, that was probably one of the first sort of um, pictures of me that I put on my feed. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow, that's so fantastic. I love it. I love the journey and I love memories that come up on Facebook. You're like, oh my goodness, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so, so, so cool. Um, and I wanted to sort of reflect and share around how your skill set has actually influenced my life over those six years. Um, some of our listeners, or if you're watching this, you might know my backstory is that I had scoliosis surgery at 15. Um, and so I have a lot of, well, it's just a bit interesting. You know, things are a bit different. My body has to compensate in a really unusual and unique way. Um, I have had the privilege of speaking to probably thousands of massage therapists on the phone. And I love the heartbeat behind why so many people want to help. Um, and there was, there was something about what you shared that even though you were in a whole different state, I knew one day I was going to come and see you. I'm like, I need, Christine does remedial hot stones. Christine works with scars. I'd never heard of any of that before. And I was like, right, one day I'm going to figure out a way that I can get myself there and, and actually get a treatment. And it also, I think, changed not only, not only do I enjoy the treatment, which was wonderful, um, but it also changed the way that I saw and viewed some of the complicated cases that I still work with. I don't see a lot of clients uh, every month, but I do still see a handful. Um, and often they have, like me, very 
different kind of gait patterns and compensation patterns because of really significant things that have happened, trauma that's happened in their body. And like, I love to think outside the box as a Bowen therapist and, you know, doing other sorts of modalities, but just to see the, um, the way that the style of work that you have created can shift such a massive shift in such a small space of time with such gentle movement is just amazing. It's absolutely amazing and incredible. Um, and it, it, it made me really curious to know, well, how does she do that? What's going on? How do we get more of that happening? This is cool. <laughs> yeah, fun, huh? <laughs> And you did work out a way to come and see me. You you did your big tour of Australia um, <laughs> and all your live events, and that was amazing. And you visited so many more people, not just me as well. So, um, yeah, and it was great to be able to treat you up in Armadale, and we've had different treatments in different places all over <laughs> Australia, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fun isn't it oh yeah. my God. <laughs> how many states can we do treatments in let's do that just finding somebody with a shared lens of treatment is really beautiful just seeing the way that you it's not just what you do when you put your hands on somebody it's who the person is and how they're presenting and how to adapt um, their, to their, you know, their energy and their, wherever they're at. Um, I think that stuff is, I don't think it's taught, you know, I think it's something that often we'll do if maybe we're taught it, uh, or if we have, if we just understand how to look after people. But, um, I also think that when someone gets treatment like that or receives treatment like that, everything changes. Um, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful way of, of, yeah, approaching clients and getting such a beautiful outcome with them. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's lovely. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and I'm sad that not everyone has like, been exposed to that. So I really want more people to have that opportunity because yes. I, I actually just feel it delivers uh, a deeper sophistication. Um, that therapists can deliver to so many people and and it doesn't need you know you to muscle in and you know kill your hands and all the rest of it, it yeah it's it's connection and rapport which you know we're absolute kings and queens are absolutely so it's, it's building up what we already do and then just really amplifying that it's like for me, that's that's where the real gold is, and that's what really um, can help people so much. And it's, I think it's really underrated. You know, we all think, oh, it's, it's a combination, isn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Without the business skills, the hands-on skills, really don't get out there. You know, without marketing it, without knowing how to um, get your message out. Then, then it's kind of like you're the best secret. Um, I liken yeah. it to having a Ferrari on the driveway, but not having the key. You oh. have lots of beautiful oh. skills, but if you can't market it, it just sits in the driveway and that's actually not what it's designed to do. No. It's designed to be out there driving around and being looked at and, you know, <laughs> driven and put on and, and all that stuff. And it's the same with our skills. Like they're yeah. actually designed to be utilised and the better we can market ourselves, actually the better we can, uh, you know, we can utilise the skills that we've got, the really classy, beautiful skills. We can actually get them out there. Um, and I think that's where that sort of combination of business meets hands-on skills is just such a beautiful, beautiful connection and a beautiful bridge. Because yeah. likewise, um, you know, we can have all these amazing skills and not be able to get them out there, or we can have all these amazing business skills get so busy that our hands get sore and then we can't treat. So it's like... We have to retire because we're in so much pain. But yeah, the two things really compliment it's I heard a phrase the other day um and it was um 
a rising tide lifts all boats. And that's what I feel us working together does. Yeah. Yes, it lifts everybody because it lifts we everyone. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I, I was just like, oh, I love that. It yes. really landed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fantastic. That's fantastic. So I guess that means that people are probably going to be seeing more of us together. Um, yeah. You know, they might be seeing more of you or they might be seeing more of me. Um, and with James in the mix as well with his marketing mind. and Because we need him as well, of course. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> a leg with three stools definitely is stronger than a leg with just a, a chair with just two. Yeah. Like, exactly. Um, exactly. So. Yeah. No, we can't leave him out. <laughs> So if you're seeing us all together, this might give you a bit more of an understanding of why that's happening. Um, and hopefully you will enjoy it as much as we enjoy working together and enjoying uh, what this is rising together um, throughout, yeah, throughout the Australia and throughout the world. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, so good. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Christine. It's great to connect. Yeah, you too. See you later. <laughs>